What's up, Leos? Welcome to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. How's everyone weekend going? Hope everyone is living their best life. Really enjoying this life. It's short, so definitely living it up. Either way, Leo, we're going to jump into your energy and see what's up with you at this time. Kind of see the vibe messages that Beloved has for you. You guys, don't forget to check out BlackMadonnaHP.com. Definitely got some beautiful items for men and women. The grown and sexy. I like sexy, so that's what I chose for my website. So definitely check it out, okay? Either way, let's go ahead and get into this message. See what's going on. Beloved, what's going on with the Leos, please? What's the message you have for the Leos? Bees. I bees in the trap. Bee, bees in the trap. No, but maybe maybe that 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 song is synchronistic because a, a community, sometimes community is like of people. So being in the trap, maybe maybe someone is in a trap or something like that. Someone could be thirty seven. Someone nickname could be B or begin with B or something like that. Um, I hope we're not going back into this energy of this community type energy that's been going on within your love life but let's see what's up let's see what's going on for leo what's the message you have for leo i'm gonna use these ones for you what's the message that you have for leo my beloved i bees in the trap bees in the trap Nicki minaj mm -hmm. And they ain't saying nothing. A hundred can't tell me. I hope that's not synchronistic to this reading. But let's see what's going on. Beloved, what's going on with the Leos, please? What's the message you have for my beautiful Leos, please? What's the message you have for Leos, please? We'll see why I chose this deck for you in a moment, Leo, because, yeah. So you're in your um Nine of Pentacles energy. Maybe that's why that song has come up, because maybe you used to be in the trap, but you don't want to be in the trap no more because you're looking forward to something bigger, something better. Like, maybe you want to settle down, have a relationship with someone or something like that. And this Nine of Pentacles energy, I feel like you're cool, right? But I don't feel like you're listening like to your intuition. I'm noticing it's a ladder in there. Most people don't have ladders on their um, porches, but there's no light in that. Something, something doesn't make sense to you at this time. I feel like right now, that's why you're kind of in the single energy because something's not making sense to you right now, but it will. Okay, we got the no vice of wands, which I think is the knight of wands, the ten of swords, something you're fucking tired of, the ten of pentacles, the six of wands, there go that community energy, the innate of wands, the page of wands, the five of pentacles, the nine of cups, the chariot, the world, ooh, the tower, the lovers, the elemental of swords, the page of swords, and the odd man out, ace of cups. So this is this that love situation again, Leo, that's popping up in your energy. And for it to keep popping up, it's a very profound energy in your life at this time. I feel like, Leo, you found something out. Something that maybe discouraged you or made you feel some type of way about this relationship. Um, wow, they having orgies. I can't hold this card up too long. But they having orgies and doing all kind of stuff. You may found out that your person may um may have somebody else or engage in 
orgies with other people. I feel like this wasn't something you were looking for. This was something you stumbled upon that now you have receipts for, right? Because it's like, now you're torn. You're trying to figure out what should you do about this situation? Because I see somebody got two paths here. They can, they can get with this or they can get with that type energy. I feel like it's like choosing, choosing the path that's less travel compared to choosing a path of where somebody's true heart is, where home truly is, right? I feel like whoever this is, Leo, has to make that choice, make that decision. And with this element of swords right next to it, I feel like somebody is going to make that choice or that decision. I feel like they know for sure now if they didn't know before because they've been thinking about it, researching it, like really taking the time out to think about it. And something has put a spark in they ass to make a move or something. Yeah. You have a person that wants to be with you, right? But it's other entities that's trying to keep them, like keep this relationship from forming, right? It could be a fire sign, earth sign, air sign. But it's some, somebody, somebody is willing in order to ride this, this life out with you, is willing to set something else a fire, set something else ablaze, to leave something else behind. You've been sad. You've been thinking about a situation, a person. Maybe you think they forgot about you or they're not as into you. Like you've tried to move on, but it's hard for you to move on for this person. But I see this person is coming back to you, though. This person, they got whatever type of fire in their ass to come back. It was, it, it was hard for you to leave this person. Somebody could have been born in 1995 or um, they could have born on September 5th, May 9th or something like that. I know they are saying 95 years old, but something like that. Number, um, number 14 may be significant as well. Maybe they was born on the 14th. Their initials can begin with L or R or something like that. But um, whoever this person is, they want to come back to you. They are no longer blinded by what they didn't see before. Now they see the truth of the situation. They don't want to leave you alone. They felt a lot of empathy for you, a lot of compassion, a lot of care. I feel like in some ways you just wanted a new start or a new beginning or something. Like you've been thinking about it because Whatever you tried with this person, it just didn't work at the time. And you were like, I just want something different. I just want something new. So you weren't, you weren't even concentrating on this as much as you used to. You feel like in some ways this person kept you in the dark. Or you felt like this person may have ghosted you or something. That this person wasn't real or authentic or honest. Right? You could have had someone recently who like um gave you some type of encouragement or something or someone who told you like a message that made you change your mind or something. I feel like there's 
parts of you or parts of things regarding the situation that you've kept hidden. You haven't wanted to let anyone know kind of what you were experiencing or what you were going through regarding this situation. You used to try to look at the glass half full, but now you see the glass is being half empty. You don't know if this is something that you want to participate in anymore or have any parts of it. To you, just moving forward and, you know, starting off new or starting off fresh seems like the best option for you. I see, I see that for some of you, you did think an option, a new option was better for you, but I feel like you realized that um, it wasn't best for you because maybe something got taken from you. I don't know if this person took your heart by surprise or whatnot, or if, um, if there was somebody who stole some money from you, or if you had to go apply for some type of assistance or if you needed assistance and you felt like that person wasn't there, like they had the means and opportunity to be there for you, but they weren't there for you, right? You could have went to church. You could have been praying or something like that. You could have asked someone, um, um, uh, you could have had to like, and I'm getting like enroll or enlist like some type of counselor or psychiatry or something like that. Like whatever you went through, it seemed like it was real hard on you. You've taken some losses dealing with this person, dealing with the situation. I feel like this person, they kind of didn't know what they were doing at the time or they didn't care about the consequences of their actions, but they do care now because whatever they were doing is like the consequences of those actions um, caught up to them or something, right? Like, they hurt themselves as much as they hurt you, right? I feel like whoever this was, this person had a choice between something that was solid and stable and something that they didn't know, like how it would turn out or what will become of it right so i feel like this person just wasn't making a choice or making a decision i feel like they were covering up who they really was or their real intentions i feel like you didn't even know what their true intentions were until later on down the line i feel like this person is someone who may have seen themselves like in a certain position or or more established maybe than you or something or um Someone who, who, I don't know, it feels like this person just felt like they were some some, some to be had or, or some type of prize. I see this person maybe could, could have played basketball or football or something like that. Uh, this person um, wasn't listening to their intuition at all regarding this connection. This person has a lot of, um, a lot of thoughts, um, a lot of thinking, all, all like thinking of, of various things that happen within this connection, that happen within this relationship. Like I said, for a long time, they didn't know what to choose or how to choose what was right for them, what was best for them, right? But something happened. Something happened where this person Re is rejecting something that they were used to. You know, I feel like this person um, now knows like some type of truth. Like they, they're they not happy in the situation they were in. Like, like there's someone that maybe they're with or was with or um, they have this connection with or something. But they, I feel like their heart is not with that person anymore. You know, like this person is kind of rejecting this person, rejecting this energy. They know the truth about this person. They know that they they no longer want to be like involved with the situation with this person. Um, they just kind of um, deal with it, but it's not because they want to be there. When they're there, it's like um, their mind is elsewhere, right? It's like... 
you know, being stuck in a situation, you don't know what to do, but you're, you're, you're there, but you're not present. You're there, but your mind is gone. You're there, but you know, you're not open to the, the situation anymore. You know, your heart is in a whole nother place at that time, you know? Oh shit, here she go, plotting and planning again. Someone knows that this person want to move on or move out. Somebody could be some type of hoarder or something or be doing a lot of research, um, finding receipts, um, investigating, doing something like that. Someone is very materialistic and stuff and they don't um they don't see themselves clearly for who they are for them they're kind of in denial of the person they are or the person they became but they know for sure that someone wants to move on um somebody keep a nasty ass house right they don't keep the house clean i'm not sure if they cook or clean um which they shouldn't be doing anyway unless the person is paying all the bills but um, it's like whoever, whoever this is, this person is messy, not only as far as keeping their house and stuff clean, but as far as a person too, this person knows that they are running out of time. They know they can no longer keep a blindfold over this person's eyes or something like this person is seeing the situation clearly for what it is. Whoever, um, their person is, um, the person is no longer happy in this connection and the situation. Okay, this person has had enough. This person thinks that, you know, materialism or whatever they have in common will keep this person there, but it's no longer that type of vibe. Somebody is trying to cut the cord, cut the connection, but someone's not willing to let it go. This is that crazy ass empress that we've been talking about that isn't willing to let go of this this person, your person, Leo. I feel like this person feel like you know, their body or their shape or whatever, um, their face is enough to keep this person. But I feel like the person is looking for more substance. I don't feel like this person is as attracted to this person as they used to be. I feel like this person, when they look in the mirror, they don't even recognize or see themselves. They be trying to make themselves look more handsome or look more beautiful or whatnot. And they don't realize that it has nothing to do with the exterior, that it is the connection of the souls that is going on right now that this person cannot stop. But this person is trying to fix themselves up. They might be trying to fix themselves up to look like you, Leo. Or do, like, if, if you've seen this person and this person's seen you, this person is trying to maybe mimic you in some ways or um, be like you in some ways or something like that. They're hoping that if uh, their person is, is attracted to something, about you that they can they can try and 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 uh wear those type of things or dress that way or something and that'll keep this person attracted to them this person knows that this person has one foot in and one foot out the door this person is trying their best to not allow this situation to overtake them because it's hard for them to be overtake. This person might be um, um, threatening this person. They might be throwing out their clothes, throwing out you know things that really matter to them and revenge and stuff. There could be a lot of drama and stuff in the house. Like I don't feel like it's a, a happy house and stuff like that. I feel like there's a whole lot going on be, behind the scenes. This person seems like they're... They're very angry and upset. Like they've been sabotaging different stuff with a person. They've been taking keys and stuff. They may have, you know, um, taken back like their phone or their car. If that person paid a phone, a car note or something like that. Or they just stopped doing the things that they used to do because they know that this person got one foot out the door. They're trying their best to um, find out the truth of why this person is one foot in, one foot out. But I feel like they already know the truth. They already know. This person could be in a little bit of a not denial that the situation may be over or that it's coming to an end. Somebody's nickname could be Spade, but 
you know, this person finds themselves alone a lot. This person isn't at home with them a lot. Uh, they spend a lot of time alone thinking and stuff. And I feel like to a certain extent, it's driving them crazy in some type of way, Leo. <sighs> So this person has finally made a decision. I don't know if that decision, the initial decision was between a, a fire or earth sign. If that earth energy symbolizes like that wifey energy, this person has decided that they want a fire sign or that they're going towards you, Leo, which is the fire sign, I feel like. I feel like they finally made their choice and their decision. They're no longer indecisive of what they want. They know exactly what they want and that's what they're focused on. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, Leo, let's go ahead and get a card from you. I just said so much. I was in a zone, you guys. So let me go ahead and get a card for you and uh close out this reading. Beloved, what's uh what's going on with the Leos, please? What's the message you have for the Leos, please? Mm, mm, mm. Did y'all see what popped out, Leo? Relationship harmony. Archangel Ragul, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Wow. Relationship harmony. So there's some peace coming for this relationship, Leo. Have faith. Okay, beloved. Either way, thank you guys so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you check out BlackMadonnaHP.com. And until next time, love, peace, and soul. Take care, Leo.